Hello everyone, it's Phil Jones from Projective Reviews and joining me is my partner Philip Boyle and today we're going to be talking about a new projector. So Philip, what projector are we talking about today? So we're talking about a new projector from a company uh, called Nomadic and the model number is the P2000 UST slash RGB. Um, a few months ago, Phil saw this projector as a press release and he pointed out to me and literally the day after Nomadic reached out to us and asked us if we could do the projector. Now, normally we do projectors by these big companies and you know, the, the big, the big companies like, you know, the Epson's and the Sony's and the JVC's and, but this projector, just because of its, its style kind of, um, kind of stood out, right? And you can kind of see behind it. And I, I think it's a gorgeous projector. Yeah, it is, it is a very good looking projector. And and we have some things like we normally do the big brands. And if it's something that's maybe crowdsourced, we don't. But this projector is available on their website as well as companies such as Amazon. So you can get it from a couple of different places. So we thought it'd be a great projector to, to review. And also it fits, it has a, pretty good feature set for its price. So Phil, what does the projector sell for? The projector has an MSRP of $2,999. And at that price alone, it's an incredibly full featured and competitively priced projector. That being mm -hmm. said, uh, given the day of the week that you go check it out, you can find it selling for significantly less. Um, there's a lot of features on this projector that you would normally have to spend significantly more for, such as the fact that it is an RGB laser, ultra short throw projector with a very good sound system in it. So that's one of the reasons why we were intrigued about it. So pr the projector retails for less than 3000 um, bucks. Yeah. What's the brightness specifications on the projector? So the manufacturer rates the brightness at 2,500 ANSI lumens and uh, my measurements were actually 15 lumens or 15 ANSI lumens brighter. So, you know, there's always a give and take um, for error, but it was it was right in the ballpark. So a good amount of light. OK, so if you combine that with a um, an ambient light rejecting screen, it's enough luminance to actually deliver a good picture, even in a room with ambient light. And as we mentioned, it is an RGB laser projector, which means it can de deliver colors that many flat panels cannot. I think they said it can deliver over 100% of the REC 2020 color space. Now, who makes the light source in this projector? The manufacturer of the laser is Apotronics, and it's an ALPD 4.0 tri-laser. Yeah. And, and I had a chance to spend some time with Phil looking at the projector, and it does a, that extra um color gamut coverage really helps when you're looking at hdr content which is mastered often in dcip3 um, and some may be mastered in the future in rec 2020 but and you know that you have the ability to recruit to reproduce those colors it also does a pretty good job when you're playing standard content of mapping some of that that color down because a lot of times often these rgb laser projectors um, are trying to use all the color all the time. And yeah. often that actually ends up with colors that uh, tend to be way oversaturated. And that was that was actually one of the pleasant surprises about this projector. I mean, we've we've looked at more than a few um, you know, new triple laser projectors over the years. And you know, the the nicest thing you can say about the color is it's got the potential, right? It, it's certainly got as you like to say, all the crowns in the box. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I was quite honestly blown away with how good Nomadic has tuned the projector out of the box. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I, so if you look at, if you look at an ultra short throw projector, it's almost like you assemble a bunch of ingredients. So you grab a, a good sound system. I believe this, is, this has a Harman Kardon sound system in it. Um, yep. Then you grab a great laser light source, you grab good lenses, and you and you put it all inside of a beautiful package. But all of that is ingredients, you need a good recipe. And a lot of times you can buy the best ingredients, but if the recipe is off, the pitch is not very good. I would rate the color reproduction based on our measurements as at least average or above average and better than many, many laser TVs that cost significantly more. 
the, the company clearly knows what they're doing when it comes to uh, their grasp of color science and, and what the hardware they have in their projector can do. And you can't say that about every other brand new projector uh, manufacturer on the market. A lot of these projectors from newer brands that are sold at very approachable prices, um, mm -hmm. the picture quality out of the box is not very good, and they normally don't give you the ability to adjust them. Oh, yeah. This projector, the uh, P2000, the picture quality was good out of the box, and you also had the tools such as CMS and and um, and white balance uh, adjustments to actually dial it in further. So we got the so with a couple of uh, tweaks here and there, we really did improve the picture substantially. It has a really robust color management system. Exactly, and that's and that's a big thing. I've seen them on on the big guys, you know, from some of the bigger manufacturers that cost thousands of dollars more. But at this price point, being able to really go in and dial them in, because a lot of times they'll give you this maybe like an Android operating system, and all you get to adjust is maybe color and contrast. And if you're yeah. talking about one of these RGB laser projectors, you really need to be able to make some adjustments to optimize the picture quality out of their room. Now. I'm not saying that this projector has to be calibrated. Most people who are looking at a projector at this price point for this application in a room with moderate to low ambient light on an ultra short throw screen would be more than happy with the picture quality that comes from this projector. But, oh, yeah. but it's like me and Phil like to tweak on stuff. And if you want to do that, you have the capabilities of doing it. A, a calibrated picture uh, you know, for a reviewer it's critical, and, that, and that's what that's what we're looking for. A consumer, you know, may not want that. Yeah, we always say there's a difference between reference and preference. So a lot of times we want to make sure that it can achieve reference, but we also have to think about what is the preference for the average user, which is why projectors and TVs have vivid modes and standard modes and cinema modes. The goal is to try to try to fit the desires of all types of users and this projector allows you to do that. Now, on top of the fact that the picture was good, um, it also has uh, good sound, correct? Yeah, it has a uh, Harman Kardon uh, 25 watt times two sound system. I was very pleasantly surprised at, you know, the imaging capabilities of the sound system. I mean, there was plenty of times when I was, you know, running uh, a sound test that, you know, I was hearing sounds coming from, you know, the right of me or the left of me. It really had a very pronounced sound stage. And man, it really helped to pull me in uh, when I was watching movies. Yeah, because it's a, cause it's a Harman, Harman card sound system, but it also supports Dolby Audio. Um, so, so it does actually give you that immersive sound. So let's talk about connections. Um, how many connections, what are the inputs and outputs on the back of the unit? So Nomadic has included a really robust selection of connections. They are including three HDMI uh, connectors. Two of them are HDMI 2.1, one is HDMI 2.0. It's got USB connectivity. It's got uh, digital audio out as well as analog audio out. And if you're a gamer, it has a high speed, low input lag uh, gaming mode. Okay, so low latency gaming, um, great 4K video. Um, so all the inputs you would ever need um, in the back of the projector. The projector has great color. How is it black levels? Well, Nomadic rates its um, contrast as three million to one dynamic, and obviously we know what you know those big numbers. They don't mean much, but I can tell you that in my testing, it actually exceeded my expectations. It had better black levels than many more expensive laser DLP projectors than we've reviewed on the on the website. It, it was quite good. Yes, and I actually spent some time um, with Overfills watching the projector, and not only are the black levels good, the shadow detail is there. A lot of times you have to, a lot of these projectors, while they're trying to get black level, you end up losing the shadow detail. So for example, if you look at um, Phil's shirt and my shirt, we're actually wearing black shirts. So you should be able to see my collar and all of the details in the shirt. So the, the projector not only delivered good blacks, but it didn't crush the um, the shadow details, which was actually um, uh, noticeable and a very good thing. Also, the HDR was very good. It did a pretty good job balancing, or very good job balancing on-screen um, brightness what, with maintaining um, highlight detail, which is difficult. So often, 
If you want a brighter on-screen image, you blow out the highlight details. If you want great, lots of highlight details, the overall on-screen um, image is a little dim. And the projector did a pretty good job with its tone mapping, finding that balance on all but the most demanding HDR material. The projector supports uh, HDR10 and HLG. For most of the content you watch, which is available in HDR10, the projector did a very good job. So if I want to connect an external sound system to it, can I? Absolutely, absolutely. You've got um, analog audio outputs on it, and obviously you've got the HDMI out, so yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can support, I can plug it into a high-end audio system and use the remote control that comes with the, with the projector to turn the volume up and turn the volume down, even turn the sound system on. So Phil, since this is a laser TV, people want a large immersive image, big sound, and because it's trying to replace a flat panel TV, they also expect smart features. So how does this handle smart features? Nomadic is including a Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max with every projector purchased on Amazon. So then you'll have access to the entire Amazon ecosystem. Yeah, which has some serious advantages. Now there's some advantages to having it all built in, but there's also some advantages to having it external. So for example, it's a lot easier to replace a, uh, a Fire Stick or a dongle with a different smart device in the future if you're looking for more or different capabilities. So you're not at the mercy of having it built in to the projector. However, Phil, you can control that Fire Stick using the remote control that comes with the unit, correct? Yes, in fact, in my testing, I, I use multiple devices. So it not only did it control the Fire Stick, but it also controlled my um, Apple TV 4K. So it, it's got um, CEC control functionality built into it. So that's not an issue at all. Okay. So benefit of having it all built in, one remote control is kind of seamless, but it been a benefit of having it as an extra um, addition or bundled option means that you have a lot more flexibility to replace and upgrade in the future. Keep in mind, most projectors at this price point that's how they bundle it to make it smart, is by bundling it with a smart dongle. And some of the dongles are eh, iffy. So if you're gonna get one, an Amazon is definitely one of the better ones to get. You, you actually get some, you get some significant hardware upgrades by using the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max. For example, um, you go from the projector's Wi-Fi 5 to the latest Wi-Fi 6E. Uh, on the Amazon. You go from the projector's Bluetooth 4.0 to the latest and greatest Bluetooth 5.0 functionality uh, through the Fire Stick. So there's some, some pretty big advantages to them bundling that hardware with this. Yeah, and a lot of Android projectors, equipped projectors, don't support Netflix natively, and this does. So there's and, some yeah. advantages. I don't think okay. there is a streaming app that, that Amazon doesn't support, including Apple TV+. Plus. Okay, so so um, smart features, great sound, great picture. And if you look at behind you, Phil, it is a beautiful um, looking projector. Um, kind of it has is. like a very unique look um, with the red and everything else, but it does. it is a very striking piece because this is gonna be in the front of the room right next to the screen. So you're gonna be looking at it every time you play it. So massive picture, vibrant colors, due to its 2,500 ANSI Lumen RGB laser light source. Yep. Immersive sound due to its Harman Kardon sound system. Uh, smart features um, when it's bundled with the Amazon Fire Stick, all wrapped up in a beautifully designed package that retails for $2,999. However, as we mentioned, it is available often for significantly less on promotion. Now, the one thing that we were concerned with when we first heard about the projector was um, support. Where could you buy it? And that's one of the reasons that you said, Phil, we don't we don't do as many uh, we don't do crowdsource projectors. But where is this one available? The projector is sold through Amazon.com, which is great because you've got the backing of the largest retailer in the U.S. Exactly. So you can get it from their website, but you can also get it from Amazon. And you know, we all buy stuff from Amazon and we know that that they offer excellent customer support. All, overall, we were impressed with the Nomadic P2000 UST RGB. 
um, great pitcher at a, um, a and a great value. So um, we look forward to what Nomadic has in store in the future. Yeah, this is this is an incredibly powerful first outing uh, for the company, Ultra Short Throw outing. I, I think they've they really hit it out of the park on this one. And I, to be quite honest, I, I'm going to be sad to have to send it back because I've been enjoying using it. It's it okay. it's a, a great projector. Okay, so so thank you guys for hanging out with us as we talk about this exciting new projector. To learn more about this projector, check out Phil's detailed re written review on projectorreviews.com. So take care, everyone, and we will talk to you soon. So. Thank <laughs> you.